the meat's browned. The next step, before I put all the ingredients together, is you're going to want to drain the meat. But I, the other day I was watching everybody's chili videos, and I seen somebody out there who was at a friend's house making chili. And uh, they just drained the meat in the sink, which that's the most retarded thing I've ever seen in my life, because everybody knows, I would think, that you need to turn the hot water on. The hot water has to be turned on. I mean, it has to be scalding because grease, as soon as it gets cool, it gets hard again or whatever. It turns into a, a, kind of a solid or whatever. And uh, if you don't have the hot water on, as hot as you can get it, you're going to eventually clog your pipes up, you know? Need the hot water on to drain the grease. If you don't, then your pipes are ruined. Maybe not the first time, but it will build up. Okay, guys, we're ready to put all our ingredients in. I'm going to move this over to the main spot. Throw all my meat in there. Turn that heat down real quick. I've already opened up my cans and I drained them. You don't, you don't use the water or anything. You just, just diced tomatoes. Chopped up tomatoes, some whole tomatoes and chopped ones, some, I, like I said, I use Manwich instead of, you can use Hunt's, uh, you know, tomato paste, anything you want. You, I mean, you can even use sp a spaghetti sauce like a ragu if you want, because it really don't matter, unless you're cooking like a, you know, something special. Something that you know calls for something specific, but this right here is good old chili. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with water. Okay, guys, I did a major mistake. I didn't put my vegetables in, and I already put my water in. So now it's probably gonna overflow on me at some point. Okay. So let's take a look at that. That's with all the ingredients in it. I suspect this is where I'm going to get the people saying "ew" and all that because see, the salt. What you need to do is you just need to make you a handful of salt. See, that's a bunch of salt, a whole handful. That's how much salt it takes. And and I'll, later on, I might might even put a tad more salt in it because, believe it or not, after I I'm going to wind up putting about a gallon of more water in there. The beans are going to drink everything, and the salt's just going to kind of disappear and turn into just goodness. I'm going to put my mix in there. It's just you know any, any packet that you want. It, it usually, you know, one pound of meat to a packet, or two pounds of meat to a packet. So I put two packets in there because right now I got four pounds of meat in there. There you go. There's all the ingredients. I'm going to mix it up, and it's going to start looking like something. Can't wait till this is done. I wish you could all come and eat it with me. Like I said, I'm going to cook this thing for about, about 10 hours slow. One more thing. I'm going to turn the heat up pretty high. And I'm going to get it to start steaming. Or not steaming, but uh, boiling. And as soon as it starts boiling, I'm going to bring it down to a simmer. I'm going to let it just sit there and slowly cook. Okay, guys. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this chili simmer probably until I go to sleep tonight. And then I'm going to put it in the ice box. And uh, in the morning time, as soon as I wake up, I'm going to put it back on the stove. And by then it'll, it'll be way done. But you just let it simmer. And uh, the reason I'm, I, I use whole, you know, 
uncooked beans is because, you know, if you use canned beans, you're not really going to get the chili or the salt into the beans.